Good morning, Ingersoll Firefighters. This is Austin. Austin, say hi. Hey. Uh, we're going to just demonstrate uh, a better way. I've noticed that the, when we put our packs back into service after an emergency call, um, some of the parts are at risk of, of being damaged, and we, we want to avoid this as much as possible. So Austin's just going to demonstrate a better way of putting our packs back into service after a call. So he's going to open the door, pull out the turnstile, flip down the bracket, and when he does this, you notice how the regulator and the and the air gauge are were in there loosely, and they're just flopping around. So it it could lead to them getting caught in something or or banging off the side and potentially damaging these parts. And we want to avoid this. So we're just going to show a better way of how we'd like to see this done to avoid this from happening. So if you take the shoulder straps, place them nice and flat and straight in the front. Check the waist belt. Make sure they're fully deployed out and there's no twists or kinks in them. First thing Austin's going to do is take the uh, regulator with the Scott symbol phasing out, place it to the side of the cylinder, take the seatbelt strap, place it over the symbol, the Scott symbol, clip in the seatbelt, snug it up nice and tight. Now that regulator is safe and is off to the side and it's not going to hit anything when you flip that bracket down. Now when we go to the other side, we're going to do the same with the air gauge. We're going to take it and place it inside the seat belt next to the cylinder and he'll flip the bracket back into place. Now, so the next time you uh, flip that bracket down, everything's nice and contained and those parts are no longer at risk at getting damaged. Let's take care of these packs so they'll, they'll take care of us. Thank you for your cooperation.